Hello, welcome to Accounting Hub. I'm Professor George Skyping, PhD in Accounting, and our topic today is gift card. So before we start our topic today, please subscribe our channel. You will be the first one to know when a new video arrives. And like our Facebook page, Accounting Hub by Dr. Skyping. So how do we record the gift cards? So Sale of gift cards are recognized as deferred revenue liability. If we go back to uh, revenue recognition and we have a playlist about it, and the playlist is in our video description, we can check that to, re to recognize a revenue, we need to have the performance obligation performed. And if we are talking about an apparel store or Amazon, Amazon sell, sell gift cards. So with this gift card, if I purchase a gift card from Amazon, I can purchase the, their products later. When they sell the products, then they will be performing the obligation. And then they will recognize the revenue when a gift card is redeemed or I can lose it, or the gift card, maybe it has an expiration date. So if we go after this expiration date, they cannot be redeemable anymore. So we have here the second option, when the likelihood of redemption is viewed as remote. So let's go to our Excel file. It will be easier to check it. If you are a regular here, you already know that. If you're not, I want to let you know that all our Excel files, they are free and the link to download it is in our video description. So Scraping Corporation, my fake company, sells gift card redeemable for Scraping products either in store or online. During 2020, Scraping sold $8 million of gift cards. So here we have our first transaction. I sell $8 million of gift card. So debit, cash, or account receivable, depending on how I sell it. And the credit will be deferred revenue gift card because I sell products. And then my customers, they can use these gift cards to redeem for Products and only when we when they redeem it for products, I will recognize it as my revenue. So let's go on. 60.5 million dollars of the gift cards were redeemed for products. Here I have my revenue. So debit, deferred revenue, gift cards. My customers they are paying it using gift cards instead of cash and sales revenue. So before this journal entry here, my T account for deferred revenue gift cards, $8 million on credit, credit because it is a liability. After that, oh, oh, oh. oh come on, okay, 6.5 million. Here, deferred revenue and sales revenue. So now my ending balance is $1.5 million. Now the T account is, looks better. If I sell it, we have the cost of goods sold. I have no idea how much, but we have it. However, this journal entry here only if Skype Incorporation works with perpetual inventory. If we work with periodic inventory, then we don't have this journal entry after the sales. We have it only at the end of our year or period if we are working with entering periods. Okay. As of December 31st, 2020, one million of the re remaining gift cards has, has had passed the date at which Scarping concludes that they uh that the cards will never be redeemed. Wow, that was so bad. Let's read it again. 
December 31st, 2020, one million of the remaining gift card had passed the date. So they are expired. At which Skyping concludes that the card will never be redeemed. Okay, we will not keep this $1.5 million as an imbalance because $1 million will never be redeemed. So let's take it out, $1 million. What is my credit? It's not sales revenue because we are not selling any, anything. So we call it breakage revenue, $1 million. So another revenue here. So we have two revenues, sales and breakage revenues. The first one because the gift cards were redeemed. The second one because the gift card will never be redeemed. And we have here an ending balance, $500,000 to be redeemed the following year. Okay, guys, that's it. If you have questions, also thank you. If you have comments or questions, please let me know. Email, email me or at jscarping at gmail.com or leave them here on YouTube. Okay, guys, have a very nice day and God bless you.